welcome to this fourth lecture of python tutorials today we will explore more about strings starting from the very basics now suppose if you have to create a string type variable a string type data how you will do it just name of the variable equals to there are different ways to create a string the first way is we do it with a single quote hi so this becomes a string type variable n there is there are other ways also we can do it by two dub means we can do it by double quotes this is also a string and the third way is we use three triple quote three times single quotes this is also a string to check with if i check type of n it gives a string type of m it gives a string type of j it gives a string so python gives us a feature where we can make a string either using a single quote or a double quote or a triple quote now generally a single quote is used to write a single statement of a string if there are multiple lines which we have to write then we use a triple quote if i have to write a string for example of the type let me share with you h is equals to three times single quote and i am writing it in multiple lines then i close the triple quotes and then i write the value of h so it becomes a multiple line statement with a slash and which has come in between because we have entered into a new line so when we have to write it in multiple lines we prefer to write it in a triple quote now when we talk in between about comments if i have to write a comment in the program you come to the left hand side of the screen now as it is visible a single hash is written is used to write a comment of a program and python supports a single line comment but if we wish to write but if we wish to write more than one line comment that is if we wish to write more than one line comment then what is the solution for it to write a more than one line comment what we use is we use this triple quote methods anything which is written in a triple quote in a multiple line it is a, a string but if we do not assign it but if we do not assign it to a variable then this is not executed so even to write a comment in multiple lines we can use this triple quotes statement for example if i give a is equals to 5 and then i print a it will print 5 and this all the strings which i have written over here this is treated as a comment now let us run this so that it see a is equals to 5 so this triple quote method is also used as a comment so this thing should be clear to all that triple quote is basically a string it is not a method to give a comment but we can use it for a comment also now coming back to the string the operations which can be performed on a string for example in integer we can do plus minus multiply divide exponential and many other operations similarly on a strings there are different operations which can be performed and there are different operators which can be applied on a string if we talk about arithmetic operators then on a string variable it is possible to apply only plus and multiply i repeat in a string we can do a plus and we can do a multiply for example if i create a string a is equals to f e capitals f e t and b is equals to let me clear this so that things become more sorry it was caps was open let me clear it then again we have to because we have cleared then again we have to assign a is equals to f e t and b is equals to g k v now we will be performing different operations sorry i have made a capital b i'll make though it does not matter but we'll make a small b for a variable b is equals to g k v now we will perform different operations if i do 
c is equals to a plus b this is allowed we will see what is what will happen if i do c is equals to a minus b this is not allowed so out of plus and minus we can add two strings now what is happening when we are adding two strings when i am adding a plus b it is basically happening as a concatenation what will happen these two strings will combine and they will concatenate with each other for example if i write c it will become f e t g k v it has resulted in concatenation but let me also make it clear to you that it is not possible that i write a plus 2 we cannot add an integer number to the string two strings can be added but an integer number cannot be added it will give an error it will give an error that we can concatenate only a string so plus over here act as a concatenation operator to concatenate two different strings and we cannot subtract two different strings now let's talk about multiplication if i make a string d is equals to a multiplied by b i said that multiplication is allowed but still multiplication is not allowed for two different strings i'll tell you on what it is allowed it is not allowed for two different strings as soon as i write d is equals to a multiplied by b it will give an error see that we cannot multiply a non-integer within a string so what does it mean that we can multiply a integer with a string so when i multiply an integer with a string for example if i multiply a multiply by 3 what will happen a multiply by 3 if you think for a moment let me write it what is it it is a plus a plus a a added with a three times this is what multiplication says so a multiply by 3 is concatenating a with itself for three times see what happens a multiply by 3 gives f e t f e t f e t so out of plus similarly division is not allowed division of strings is not allowed division of strings is not allowed with integer also okay so to summarize again out of plus multiply minus and divide we can add an integer to a string sorry we can add two different strings and we can multiply an integer with a string so these are the operations of arithmetic operations which can be applied on a string in the next lecture we will see about listing and slicing thank you